Buddy, Darren again, thank you for being here. I'm, well, <clears throat> as you can see from the signs, this is where I'm at. It's the abandoned town of Arroya, R-O-O-Y-A. What's interesting about this, I kind of want you to put your attention to this little map right here. Arroya on the boom, circa 1912. As you can see, there was a lot more buildings here. There was a hotel, there was a lumber yard. There was, um, of course, a smith shop, uh, a livery barn, a fifth store. This side had a lot more buildings at one time. As you can see, they're all gone. This is all that really remains, is what you can see. And of course, behind you, there was other buildings. They're all gone. But what we're gonna do specifically right now is go into the old Smith's Mercantile Store, which has survived, be this building right here. Um, it's a mercantile store slash um, machine shop. So apparently somebody also worked in there. Uh, the mercantile store, you can still see the steps there right above in the front there. That's the mercantile store. The one to the right, actually, I think is the old remains of the old machine shop. around since the time this town was here. If I recall, some of the dates in there was an early uh, 1900s. But uh, I want you to see the inside of this. The reason why I say I want you, because I have been in there before, took some really cool stills, but I didn't really do a real detailed walkthrough of this whole place that I want you all to see. So let's go take a look. And you can also take a look kind of around how remote this place is. Way out in eastern part of Colorado. So just imagine at one time, there were buildings through here. White structure, which is an old trailer, the house on the other side, and then of course the house down there, and this one here, right over in this side. You can't see it from here, but we'll take a look. It's the old schoolhouse, which is up on the hill, kind of about maybe 300 yards down the scrub road down here. But we'll take a look at that too. Let's, let's check this out. See the old stencil? Again, Vicky, for your cinematography skills. Like that, there could be stuff in the grass you can bump into. Now, of course, as with any place I, I visit and do a video and photograph, it's also in, it's always in worse shape when I come back. This door was never this far back. Obviously, I mean, I'm assuming it's just to fill back on its own over time, or maybe somebody kicked it. Somebody, there's always someone who likes to destroy even abandoned property. So look, look at all the stuff still in here. This is the old part of the old machine shop or garage. A lot of stuff still sitting in here. Bottles, mason jars filled with nails, um, bottles still filled with some kind of fluid or liquid and stuff. If you look up on the wall there, parts of uh, filters from old cars and things still on here. Some of it's kind of neatly stacked. And let's just go back here. A lot of old empty containers. Look at this. Swisher Sweets, the old the little cigars. You can still find these, uh, but somebody obviously liked smoking them when they worked here. And there's a couple of those empty boxes there. Real big empty jugs. Some of them still got stuff in it. All along the shelves, going all the way back. Looks like this used to be part of an old heater of some kind right here, or something that was used. Now it looks like there's some right here. Interesting stuff you find. That's a very old hat. wonder who wore that back in the day, huh? So, looks like there's some stuff that they were burning. Remains of old boots. Stuff you find in abandoned places. This, um, some of this stuff is probably about as old as the town. Probably was here when the town was still, uh, when people actually still lived and worked here. But we're going to go back here. I want you to see something. And you can kind of move it around. You can kind of see what, kind of what we're seeing. Look at all the stuff up here that's still here. All right, let's take a look. Now, back here, I believe, is where the old mercantile store was. And Heath, I know I always talk about Heath, but you know, Heath uh, does a lot of traveling around Colorado. He knows something about the history of the state. Um, I believe this used to be part of the old mercantile store. There's still stuff in here that's 
kind of still hanging up on the walls and just a lot of junk and stuff on the ground here. Uh, old coffee cans, chains, just about everything you can think of still sitting in here. Shovels, parts of old tires, a lot, lot of old tires. Let's go back here. All right. This obviously was an old garage at one time because there's a door that I'm assuming you can pull your car in here. But what's interesting about this place, someone liked to drink their whiskey here. I did some stills at one time that I posted that you all probably saw. Jim Beam, Brandy, Apricot Brandy, uh, Canadian Club, I believe that says. Another Canadian Club. And just stuff, just little stuff like this that make interesting stuff. Like a pair of old scissors. Um, that's broken, actually, and very rusted. Some more whiskey bottles back in here. So whoever worked back here definitely liked to drink. Right up in there, see all that? Jim Beam, all with empty bottles of whiskey up there and back over in here. So yeah, so this, this is really cool. Gloves. Um, so we can do some more stills. We're gonna go through a couple of the old houses up here. I want you to see a few things, but I hope you liked it. But this, this is one of the few places that actually really survived. Look at parts of the old chains and stuff on the floor. Um, so yeah, somebody definitely worked back in here. They like their whiskey and their cigars. And so I hope you all liked the little journey through here. We're going to do some more stuff over here. So be safe. Talk to you soon.